to try and get this colour that's in here. Yeah, that's better. Then that's a bit, a bit darker. So just a, a sweep over with that. And then this bit, a bit of yellow in there. Put the whiskers there, but it's still looking okay. We'll just maybe just go over them slightly, bring that out a bit. Doesn't want to come out too much because look, it's it's actually in inside of here. blending what I just put on with the white. Not trying to go over it, I'm just trying to blend it in, blend the colours a bit and keep a fluffy look there. That's yellow. So just tap it down. And then I'll just sharpen my white up a bit. And then I'll do the whiskers over that. Be careful here not to go mad. I know there's a lot going on, they're very, very strong, but I just think it will won't look as good. cushion. Just tap it all in. And then we'll put the glassine on right at the end which I'll show you. I did notice that this is this needs to be a bit more uh, blurry here this bit. There's a lot more blurriness going on there. And you know it's not it's not very strong. See where they're coming from then. Okay, so let's get our little wedge white thing. Our, our stick, this is our schmink stick. We'll just try and get these nice and white again.
pressing over the top. We'll press this in, press this into paper. See, I'm going inwards though, I don't really want it going all over the background. That is more grey here, but we'll just. So get the grey on wiping the pencil off after each stroke because it's picking up black from, or grey from the legs. there so that it, it brings it out a bit. It could do with being a bit darker actually there. Which I'll put in. Just with black. something here I'm just thinking why did I put that in there because now I can't see it anymore so I'm gonna get rid of that this bit here it's not here I don't know why it's here might, might be one of those stray bits that fell onto my picture from, from this this is what happens see look at all this that's come from the white stick They're not really, really white. They're, they're quite dulled down there, so I'm not going to do anything with those. This is going back a bit. Yeah, I think that's okay. 
Okay. Um, there was something else I noticed as well that probably needs a bit of attention, and that was um. this arm stand out so I want to put a bit more yellow on there and a bit more yellow in here on here so I'm just gonna maybe try and go over those with white I think just blend them in a bit just looking a bit spotty just needs to be whiter needs to come, needs some hairs coming around there. And there's a like of that extra bit there I'd actually missed out. And it needs outlining so you can actually see that little extra bit. Um, there it is. very slightly. And it's got blue. Dark blue.
make us a little bit furry looking under here. This is the grey I'm using here. Coming well off the base now, so that'll be fine. That'll be mounted up like that. Okay, just fluffy white flecks off the background. It's not too bad. So we'll say that this is the, um, yeah, so where are you? <laughs> yeah, so we'll say this is the end. And I'm just going to show you the very last bit that I would do is put the glassine on, press it all over, like I showed you before, actually. Um, so you press it all over, press the pastel right into the picture, and then a fresh piece of glassine on to, before you frame it. Um, I hope you've got your frames already.
I really hope you have. I want to see them all framed up and I want you to post them all on our Facebook uh, private page so that we can all see how we've done and we'll just see how different they all are and how great they are all in their own right. None of us are going to have the same thing going on and uh, that's great. That's what I want to encourage to for you to have the confidence to do your own thing and not to copy blindly what other people are doing. Just do your own thing and your pictures will be much, much better. Trust me, they really will be much better and you, you will have more fun with it. You will enjoy yourselves. Anyway, thank you very much for joining my group and um, I've really, really enjoyed doing this. I can't wait to do the next one. In fact, I've already started thinking about what I'm going to do next. Had a few suggestions, so I'm going to look into that a bit. But if I see something that really flicks my switch, I'll go for that, I think. Because I've really got to enjoy what I'm drawing. Um, I'm not going to be drawing things to order that people request uh, because you know, I need to enjoy this. I need to be really into this. Uh, if I'm going to make a good job of it. It's not going to be a job of work for me. This is for my pleasure. And um, I, you know, I really do believe that um, I just, I just don't want to waste what I've learned. So I want to pass it on before I die. And it will all be there on YouTube and Facebook forever, I hope. And anyone can dip into it and take what they want from it. If they don't want it, that's fine. But it's there. It's there. So thank you. Thank you for joining me. And um, keep in touch and I'll keep you posted about what I'll do for the next project. Okay. Okay. Go and finish your pictures. Hurry up and I want to see them. Bye now. Okay. So this is the very last stage now, a nice piece of clean glassine, put it on nicely and I'm just going to press it all, all over, like that, all over. And then even when you've done this, you could still add a bit more colour into the eyes, say, if you wanted to, um, just to give it that extra bit of sparkle. Maybe the whites again, um, you see it just slip there, so you've got to be a bit careful. So sometimes you can actually see, there's not much there to see on that paper, you see? It's all gone into the paper, so that's great. Um, but sometimes you might want to just liven up the eyes a little bit. So kind of, um, let me just get them lightened. Often these are very good um, with the soft with these. If you can get these thin enough, like little slithers, and just touch the eye bits, but because it, you've got to be really careful. So I'm just gonna, yeah, it's not making much difference, is it? I don't want those too big, actually. There, you just sort of push it in and twist it. Just that, really. And then this bit here, it could be a little bit brighter. Just that, that's enough. Just best do it quickly. Okay. Okay, so that's that bit. So, that white bit's all been pressed into the paper. It's quite chalky this, quite chalky. So, this is why when you mount your picture, I need to do a little um, video on that actually. When you mount your picture, you must have a mount on it. And 
you know, sometimes you could put a double mount on it, so that's one on top of the other, so that the glass, when the glass goes on it, is nowhere near the pastel. I saw somebody's picture once, they asked me to redo their dog, um, because they'd had it done years ago by somebody with pastel, and when they took the glass off, um, you know, to let me take the picture and try and reproduce it, say, um, the pic the pastel came off on the glass. Uh, there wasn't much left on the paper at all because the glass had actually been touching. So, you know, you have to be pay attention to that with pastel. But apart from that, if you use this paper, you'll you'll be all right. You'll have, you know, it'll, it'll work out. It'll work out good. Okay then. Bye for now.